Every time I've gotten down and stuck and overcame and looked back, I've discovered that the problem usually was internal. It was my headspace and also the absence of a certain type of skills I call meta skills. So I want to share those skills with you. Those are skills that lead to the acceleration of all other skills. These are the things that will get you unstuck. These are the things that will make you grow. These are the things that will open up whole worlds of possibilities for you. Today on Headspace, here we go. As always, I want to ask you to give us some love, spread the word, review, rate, give us a like, subscribe, help us grow the channel. Now, if this episode in particular speaks to you and lights a fire in you and you really want to accelerate your growth, you might want to go to exponential.life slash talk and book a free strategy call. Maybe we can help you with that. There's this famous quote by Henry David Thoreau, and he says that the mass of men lead lives of quiet desperation. I love that quote because it's true. And it's painful to realize that, that it is true. Most of us hit these stages, the seasons of quiet desperation. Sometimes we never get out of them, right? But at the very least, we hit several plateaus in our lifetime. You know, early on in my 20s, I had this plateau where I was peaking professionally and I was completely tanking personally. And it was painful, really painful to overcome. Um, it could be something like a change of seasons where, but where you have arrived, it's just not enough there's more but you don't know what that more is or you do know what that more is but you don't know how to get there i had this season in life where i was doing a non-profit work for a period of time and i was just being pulled back into entrepreneurship and it sort of bubbled up and bubbled up and bubbled up and i remember uh, telling deb like in a moment almost like an overflow like, i think i want to start my own business again and she looked at me strangely, not really expecting that. And it took us on a complete turn in our lives. And we learned a lot. These things are always accompanied by anxiety, burnout, a sense of hopelessness, lack of direction. Uh, this stuff is just a symptom of a deeper feeling of lack of purpose, lack of fulfillment. Okay? It's totally normal. So what we're going to talk about today is three different skills that I call meta skills. These are the skills that accelerate all the other skills. The first meta skill that I think is incredibly valuable is a practice of self-awareness, right? It's actually called metacognition, the state of being fully aware of what's going on inside. Most of us are just not, you know, we're not really even fully aware of our deepest desires, deepest fears. And to actually become self-aware, you need to insert practices and develop them over time that are daily practices. They're contemplative practices. It's basically prayer, meditation, journaling, combination of, the, of all of those three things. And uh, there's ways to really fine tune those so you become really aware of your surroundings, your deepest desires, your deepest feelings, your goals. Amazing things happen. Uh, we teach this, of course, and a client of mine just recently sent me this text. It says, morning routine went well this morning. Honestly, I can't remember the last time I felt this alert and focused. Now, can you picture yourself feeling that way predictably, reliably every single morning and how that may change your life? That's why it's called a meta skill. The second meta skill that will transform your life if you pay attention to this is immersive learning. The reason why that's a meta skill and it will accelerate everything else for you is because most people actually don't learn well. Most people dabble. They don't stay with it. They're not consistent enough. They just don't pay attention. They give up too early. Now, if you change that, and you can totally change that, uh, it will change your life. Now, let me give you first a case that this actually works. Think of yourself if you took a foreign language in high school, and if you did, ask yourself if you are fluent in this language today. Most of the time, the answer is no, I don't remember. I speak four different languages. I speak uh, English, Russian, Spanish, and Portuguese. The reason I still speak all those four languages is because I learned them as a child by living in those countries. I was fully immersed. So, of course, I cheated. It's not fair. I get it. But here's the deal. Here's the cool thing. 
you can replicate this same principle in real life. So what you do is you find a thing that you're really motivated to learn. It could be all kinds of things, break it down into the most narrow field possible. And then you find somebody who teaches that well in a very practical way, and then they, you read their books, you get their coaching, you hire them or you listen to them, you watch them on YouTube. Do that consistently over an extended period of time until you can finish this person's sentences, until it has sort of assimilated into your subconscious. And you can go, well, I can't do this because I don't have any time. Yes, you do. Yes, you do. You waste so much time. You're in the car for long periods of time. You go shopping, you go on walks, you work out. So instead of listening to music, binging on Netflix, or doing something that's really sideways energy, focus on that one thing you want to master and don't dabble. Just stay with it, stay with it, stay with it, and you'll be surprised how quickly you can learn this. Meta skill number three is apprenticeship. The ability to be an apprentice to somebody who knows what they're doing. We have mentors. It's not the same thing because we can sort of ask for advice every once in a while. They'll correct us every once in a while. Apprenticeship is a whole different level of humility, of focus, of intentionality. Apprenticeship is when you know by definition, apprentice, that you don't have the skills that you want to get and you're very, very motivated to get those skills. And then you either hire a coach or find a mentor and it's hard to find a mentor and you have to earn it if you're not paying them. You need to figure out how to be around that person. And then you continuously learn and have this posture of humility. And you invest in it with such intentionality that that takes you to a whole different level at a much faster rate. That's apprenticeship. Okay. If this episode in particular speaks to you and lights a fire in you, and you really want to accelerate your growth, go to exponential.life slash talk and book a free strategy call. Maybe we can help you with that.